Hi, this is Mrs. La Barbara. This is Physics Chapter Three Vectors Video One. Today's topic is Three Point One Vector Representation. The objectives for today is to know the difference between vectors and scalars, to understand how to determine the magnitude of vector using a scale, and the two ways to determine the direction of a vector. Be able to draw vectors with given information. Vectors versus scalar quantity. A vector is a physical quantity that has both a magnitude and direction. When we talk about magnitude, we talk about how big it is or the size of, of the quantity. We use an arrow above the symbol to represent a vector, like A with an arrow on top. A scalar quantity is just a physical quantity that has only magnitude, only has its size but no direction, so we just use a simple capital letter to represent that quantity. Now consider the following quantities listed below. Categorize each quantity as being either a vector or scalar. So this seems to be pretty straightforward. So you look at a quantity, the quantity has no direction, that's a scalar quantity. The quantity has a direction that has that is a vector quantity. For example, for A, that's a scalar quantity because it has no direction. The second one has a direction, so that is a vector quantity. A vector quantity has two parts. It, ha it has magnitude and direction. So it's a vector quantity. It's magnitude. That means how big the vector is. That's a 30 meters per second. And its direction is east. For example, C, this is another uh, vector quantity. Its magnitude is 5 miles, and the direction is north. Next, uh, D, E, F, all these three quantities has no directions, so they are all scalar quantities. Now, we have learned um, previously about the distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. So this is just review. Categorize each quantity as either a vector or scalar quantity. We have learned distance is a scalar quantity, displacement is a vector quantity, speed is a scalar quantity, velocity is a vector quantity, acceleration is a vector quantity. So again, all vector quantities has directions. Scalar quantity has only a magnitude. Vector is represented by arrow. The direction of the arrow is indicate the direction of the vector, the size of the arrow, is uh, indicated its magnitude. Take a look at this. This is a vector, vector representation on a piece of paper. So we know this uh, has, This is an arrow. It represents a vector. This vector actually represents a displacement. It tells you the magnitude is 20 meters by this scale. One centimeter equal, equals to four meters. So 20 meters, the length of this arrow has to be 5 centimeters because 4 times 5 gives you 20. And it tells you the direction. It's 30 degrees from here. So it gives you the full information about the displacement. Now the vector has two parts. One is head, one is tail. It's important terms we need to remember. The magnitude of vector is represented by its length. So to draw a vector, this all three vectors, they are in the same direction, but they have different magnitude. The magnitude is indicated by the length of the arrow by using the scale. So this one is 50 miles. So the length of the vector has to be three centimeters. This one is 25 miles. The length of the vector has to be five centimeters. And similarly, this vector is 80 miles. The length of the vector has to be 3.6 centimeters. There are two ways to represent the direction of vector. One way is called a compass point. A compass gives us the directions, north, east, south, or west. So the direction of vector is expressed as a single, as the angle of rotation of a vector about its tail from east, west, or north, or south. So the tail is, is this end. So we see the angle from this end by the tail. Take a look at over here. So this side is east, this one is north. 
So the vector is between west and the north. How do we indicate the direction of this vector? The direction vector is at 30 degrees west of north. So this is north. So you're going from the north, turn 30 degrees to the west direction. So you're going to the west from north. OF means from, from north. 30 degrees, you're going to the west from north. If this is 30 degrees, this has to be 60 degrees because the whole angle is 90. Or you can say it's going from to 60 degrees from west. From west, you're going 60 degrees into the north direction. So both are uh, right ways to indicate the direction of this ve uh, vector. Take a look at another example. Give you the angle from the south to the vector is 70 degrees. This 70 is going from south to east. So the direction vector is 70 degrees. You're going to east from the south. Or you can say because this is 70 degrees, the other angle is 20 degrees. So it has to be 20 degrees. You're going to the south from east. Another way to indicate a direction of vector is counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is you use due east as zero degree reference. So everything is coming from east, the zero degrees reference. All other angles are measured from that point. So take a look at the same vector. We can represent this vector using counterclockwise instead of using compass point. The direction of this vector is at 120 degrees counterclockwise. How did I get 120? I used a 90 plus 30. That has 120 degrees. Everything is going counting from the east. Take a look at the second example. Counting from the east. This is east, always counting from counterclockwise east. So the counterclockwise way is 340. That's 270 plus 70 degrees counterclockwise. So that's counterclockwise. We can change systems from compass point to counterclockwise. For example, what is the direction vector in both compass point and the counterclockwise? So from compass point, this one is between east and south. So either it's south of east or east of south. It gives you the angle 50 degrees from the south to east. So you go to east of south at 50 degrees, east of south. Or you can say 40 degrees south of east, because this angle is 40 degrees. You're going to the south from east. Or you can say counterclockwise, 320. That's 270 degrees plus 50 degrees. What is the direction vector in both compass point and reference point for this vector on the bottom? Well, this from the east is 20 degrees. So it's counterclockwise is 20 degrees. And this vector is between east and the north. So it's from the east to the north. So you can say going north of east at 20 degrees, or this angle, the top over here is 70 degrees. You can say going east of north at 70 degrees. So both are correct. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.